Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to A Technical Perspective with myself, Lindy Smith, Head of Admissions and Administration. And with me this morning, I have... Hi, I'm James McNaughton. I'm with Maths Department, but I also look after ISAMs and other digital parts of the school as well. Brilliant. So we've come along this morning just to come and talk everyone through um, all the systems that we have um, and all the ways that you can get information on your children, book your parents' evenings, a look at sports fixtures, how to book co-curricular clubs, all the fun things that you are responsible as a parent to kind of look at. There's some slides we'll talk through and then some videos that we have prepared um, as guides. James has kindly prepared those for you. And we will send that out via school post at the end of today um, for you all to have on hand. As always, if you have any technical queries around logging into any of the systems, whether it's the parent portal, Evolve or School Cloud, you can always contact us at comms at lvs.ascot.sch.uk and one of the administrators in the team will be able to help you. So just to talk you through what we have got. Um, first and foremost, our parent portal, the most um, of the, the total place where you can log in and look at most things. And I thought it would be key to just talk you through places where you can do different things in the parent portal and what it does. So we have our parent portal, which you can access on the web, which is the picture down below. And then we also have the ISAMS parent app, for those of you who didn't know that an app was available. However, what I will say is through the app, you have very limited things that you could look at. So on the app, you could look at the school calendar, where we should have everything, senior school, junior school, and whole school, which you can take a look at staff contacts, um, access to reports, and access to rewards and merits. You cannot do leave requests from the app. That has to be done from the web-based system. Um, and we are very keen to ask all of you to make sure that if you have any sickness, have any illness, have any leave requests, to please, please put them on the system and not email the tutors directly or any other staff because that might be missed. And at least then we have a record and we can track it for safeguarding purposes. Parents' evening bookings, you can access the school cloud, which we'll talk through in a minute as well, through the web portal as well. You cannot do parent evening bookings through the app. Um, and if you want to print PDF copies of your child's school reports, they will all be available in the, in the web-based version. The app will only let you view that. Um, access to school emails and messages. Again, if there's anything that's gone out on school post and you struggle to find that in your inbox, there will be lists of those on the parent portal. The link is on the slides as well. I'll make sure that this goes out to everybody. And Mr. McNaughton has kindly prepared a short video to talk you through how the parent portal works. Hello there, we're gonna have a look at our parent portal here at LDS Ascot today in this short video. Um, this is just sort of a walk through the web page. Have a look at the different features it's got available. All parents should have their logins to Parent Portal. If there's any issues with logging in, please do email um, comms at lvs.ascot.sch.uk. Um, this, this email will also be shared for you to use if you need it. So here we are in our home page. If we want to change the personal details at all, we can do that under my profile. So changing your contact information or your password, that's where, we, that's where we'd access that from. The area you're most likely to go to is under my children. And this is the information you want to access most of the time. So for example, our first option here is school reports. So you'd click on school reports and view school reports. And here we have all of the reports issued while your child's been at LBS Ascot. You'd be able to download the report as a PDF and view it and save it in your own areas if you wanted to. But here, it will always be here. So this is always the place to come back to and it'll always be saved um, for their whole time at LBS. So that's gonna be really useful. Another useful feature is if you want to see your child's timetable. 
we're going to click here on school timetable and we can see the timetable for your child with the teachers and which rooms they're going to be in. Another useful one is teaching groups. If you want to see which teacher teaches your child for a particular subject, that is where we're going to click on. So we click here, view teaching groups. And we have our teachers down here on the right with the form and the subject code and the group name. So we have art, we have biology, we have a C CTF rocher, we have chemistry with our separate teachers. So that's also really useful. Reward and conduct. This is really nice to come in and view regularly to see how your child's getting on. For those parents it, with children in the infant and junior school, we're going to be using IJS. So we've got house points, star of the week, head teacher award, end of term award, and the principal's accommodations. So these are all for the infant and junior school. For parents with children in the senior school or sixth form, that is the SS and SF, senior school and sixth form. So we have our merits, house merits, certifications, principal accommodations, and all we need to do is click on into any of them and we can see what they've been awarded when they've been awarded it and by the teacher. So that's really nice to check in regularly to see how they're getting on. Um, I really like that feature. The final one, internal exams. We're not currently using that, um, but it's still there, which we may use in the future. If you would like to get school communications, please use this inbox and we can see any communication sent to you from the school. The calendar. This is going to be really, really useful to plan out the term. So we have multiple views here. So we daily, weekly, monthly. I'm going to click on termly. The, our calendar here is very full with lots of different things going on in and around school. So I'm going to start to filter this down. First of all, you might want to select infant and junior school. And then you might want to select, well, I'm interested in school trips, so I'm going to select school trips. And as I scroll down, I can then see I've got a year two Victorian school visit on the 23rd of February. And we can and a whole school trip to Kidzania on the 6th of March. Or if we're in the senior school, perhaps our your child is perhaps doing some exams. You want to find out when the exams are. Your child will have access to the their exam timetables, but it'll also be here for the general days when they are. So you'll have mocks and year 30 mocks are going on during all of this week, and your child will have their individual timetables for their subjects. And of course, as I scroll, start to scroll down, GCSE practical food exams and so on and so forth. So that calendar there, we can filter by the school and by the different events, whether it's trips, sports events, whatever it may be. I'm now going to move to school information. So you may want to find some information perhaps on the school handbook. So if we're either going into senior school or infant and junior school, you might want to see the lunch menus or the bus routes if that affects you or the minutes from the PTA. So I'm going to select on infant and junior school and I'm going to click on the handbook. The school handbook has lots of, use of in, useful information and I've downloaded that handbook as a PDF, which I can open if I want to. So here we go. We have the handbook. And it has a breakdown of all the teachers, etc. So the handbook is a really good place to go and find out some basic information that we might not be aware of. So please do explore that for any information you might want to find out. Also in school information, we have useful links for parents that might be of interest. Boarding information, term dates. And if you'd like to find out 
the final one for email addresses to contact teachers, that will be in there as well. So, our next option along is going to be parents' evenings. So, appointments via School Cloud. I'm going to cover that in a separate video. So, I'm going to leave that for now. But when it comes to parents' evening, we can log on via School Cloud and there'll be a separate video to help us through setting that up. Evolve. We use this for booking in our clubs and any trips. So I'm going to have that in a separate video as well. So we can see activities and trips, etc. So I'm going to not cover that now. But if you want to find out more information on either of those two, please look out for my next videos. Absence and leave requests. This is really important. Anytime we either need to report an absence, we're going to select here. So, so just as a reminder, selecting and then report an absence. And here we can report when the absence is and the reason and the type of leave requests. If you'd like to look at any pending or if see if the absence has been approved, we can select through these or have a complete overview of the absences. So far, you can select on here. So this is going to be another really useful area to go to if our child is going to be off school. So that's the main uses of our parent portal. As I said, um, if you have any issues logging on, please do contact us and the email address will be included. Which is comms at LVS dot ascot dot sch dot uk but apart from that i hope this video has been useful for you thank you very much Thank you, Mr McNaughton. That was a great video. Actually, a lot of information in there and a lot of things for you guys to look at. Just a reminder that from the app, you can only do limited things, but it's a quick view of the calendar and a quick view of child's rewards and merits or any kind of reports that you want to take a look at. But absence and leave requests must be done through the parent portal. Um, Mr McNaughton spoke about a school cloud, which is for our parents' evenings, which you can access straight through the parent portal by clicking on the screen, which will come up at the bottom there, that says School Cloud Login via iSAM's Parent Portal. And that will let you straight in to book your child's parents' evening slots. Slots become available. Uh, you will receive an email a couple of days or weeks before your child's parents' evenings are due. And you can go in there and book any slots with any of the teachers that you want. Um, again, any technical issues, just email comms at lvs.ascot.sch.uk or any other queries about anything on the parent portal at the moment, anything you think needs updating, needs checking, or just any advice, please email myself at lindy.smith at lvs.ascot.sch.uk. Haven't seen any questions come up so far, so we'll crack on and show you the video for School Cloud, which we've done um, as well. Hello everyone, so today we're going to be looking at School Cloud to be booking parents' evening appointments. Here I am in our parent portal. To get to parents' evenings appointments, we're going to select parents' evenings appointments via School Cloud. So this takes me to my School Cloud. Here we are. Um, here we have year eight parents' evening. This one is online and I need to book some appointments. So either select you're unable to attend or if you are able to attend, we're going to click on the day. Two options, I'll show you both. Automatic for selecting appointments, it will automatically book you in the slots or if you want to choose individually the individual appointments, you can do that manually. So I'm going to go to automatic. Here we have our times for parents evenings. I'm, I want to change my times i can't get there till let's say five o'clock and perhaps i want to leave at half seven so that's my window in which i want to get as many parents evenings as possible i might need to adjust that depending on what i get bear in mind this is when these teachers are free based on other appointments so 
I've selected my availability. I select, want to select the teachers. So here are the teachers for my child. I'm going to go select all because I want to see all of them. And I want to select generate appointments. It's thinking about it and it's come up with a timetable for me with each of my teachers that I need to see. I've got two minutes to either accept or reject, so I can just give it a check. I've got a minute gap in between each appointment, so I could accept that and that's ready to go. I'm going to reject purely because I want to have a look at the manual option. So selecting manual, I want to select all the appointments. Here we now have a grid of when all the teachers are free. So for example, Mr. Drips, I cannot select appointment with him in this break here. So this is 5.13 through till 6.02. I can't select that, but if I do want to pick a time, I could choose that one. If I wanted to speak about anything in particular, I could add a note here, but otherwise I can click save. So that time slot is gone. So that's removed for all the other teachers. So I don't double book myself and I keep going, save, save, so on and so forth. So I can select the teachers that I need to book with. And you can keep going. When you want to click save, we can click save. So I haven't selected all the teachers, but I have my options here. If I want to amend any bookings, I can click amend. Let's say that two parents are in two different locations um, during parents' evening, they can select here and invite another member to join. So they would need a full name and an email address and then send that invite. So this parents evening will then get sent to the second parent or guardian. So that's really useful as well. Subscribe to calendar if you if you want to be having these parents evenings booked into your own calendar on your phone or on your computer. But apart from that, we're ready to go. Apart from on parents evening, we would have on that day, we would start off our video call and begin. But otherwise, I can print it off. I can join it to my calendar or on the day on parents evening on 6th of June. This will appear and it will automatically join me to each of the teachers. All I need to click is go and it'll automatically end. It'll give me a minute's gap then it will join me on to the next member of staff to have a meeting with. So I hope this has been useful. Again, as always, if there's any issues with logging in, please use the email at the end of this video to get some support in that. Thank you very much. Super, so that's another great guide on School Cloud to book all your parents' evenings. I must admit, I learn something new all the time. Um, I was never aware of exactly where you needed to click to um, add another parent if someone's on another site. So that's, that's something new I learned today as well. Brilliant. So that is a guide to School Cloud. As we said, accessing it through the parent portal itself is the easiest way to do it because it does link your login details to the ISAMS parent portal. And parents' evenings will go live a couple of um, weeks or so before the actual parent evening takes place, but you will receive communication about when that is. Uh, we have one more system to go, one that I think you use quite regularly, and that is Evolve. Evolve is where we have um, a booking spaces for all our co-curricular clubs, our breakfast clubs and extended day bookings, fixtures notifications, and trips and tour bookings and consent forms. Now, I didn't realize how few people knew about the My Evolve app. There is an actual app. Um, and the reason I particularly like the app is the fact that once a trip goes live 
or the club bookings open up, it does ping a notification to your phone. So if you are worried that you're not going to be able to see emails in time, I know how keen people are to get in and get that co-curricular booking slot for swimming club or the ones that are really, really popular. It's easy enough now that it pops up as a notification on your phone. You can go into the app and book it that way. What I will say is if you access My Evolve through the parent portal, it does require you to log in a second time. There is no way to link it so that you have an automatic login the way you have the school cloud. So the key thing is try and remember those My Evolve uh, login details. For anybody new jo joining the school um, coming in September, we will set you up. It will send you an automatic login email and you can access it that way. So uh, three different versions there to access My Evolve. You can go onto My Evolve with the link at the top on a web-based browser. You can download the app or you can access it through the parent portal. Fixtures notifications do, uh, there's a fixtures calendar, which I will talk about in a minute, um, which will be sent out to you at the start of September. However, the current fixtures uh, list of, uh, and calendar is now available on this presentation, which will be sent out at four o'clock today. Um, trips and tour bookings, very important to remember, is it will send you a notification that a trip is now available. There are two things that you need to do though. One is you need to click on it and accept that your child wants to attend the trip or the tour. And then there is going to be a consent form that pops up. You have to complete the consent form in order for that booking to then be correct. Um, we have a large number of people that book their child on trips and tours, but do not complete the consent form, which means it delays actually getting through that. Equally the same with fixtures and uh, notifications. I'll actually bring it on to that slide and then go back to the video. All fixtures will be on Evolve Sport. As I said, a link to these fixtures will be sent out in September. Team sheets will be available 48 hours to 72 hours in advance, except in exceptional circumstances. What I will say is if you receive a fixtures notification or an invite for your child to join a fixture, please try and accept it as soon as possible. Otherwise, we do need to last minute send out to others and give them the opportunity. And that's why people then end up receiving something with very short notice. Fixtures will be displayed in the PE department on the big screen so children can see it there as well. And any canceled or postponed fixtures or training will be updated on Evolve and Twitter. And then the link at the bottom of that list is to the fixtures calendar. We can now watch a lovely little video by Mr. McNaughton again about how um, to go through Evolve. Hello everyone. Today we're going to have a look at My Evolve. This is available as a browser on the computer or there is also a My Evolve app. Links for both getting the app and if you have any issues with logging in or finding a link to my Evolve is down at the bottom of this slide here. So here we are in My Evolve. The first thing I want to do is have a look at my account. So I'm going to click on my account here. This is the place where we can change any details we might need to. So name, password, email address, linking accounts, etc. So any of that, any of those changes can be made here. So I'm going to go back to my home page. So the rest of the details I'm going to be clicking on across the top bar. So what's on? Very straightforward. Here's all the trips and clubs we could possibly book that we might be interested in. So, for example, I might click on this um, football academy training. Let's, ha let's have a look. So. At the moment, this is a paid club, so this would be likely added onto term bills if parents are interested. It gives a brief description, full details. We have all the dates of which this event runs. And if you'd like to book your child onto this event, we're going to click the book event button down the bottom. This can be done for all trips and all clubs. Any updates in clubs, so as we move into the next term, you will get an email um, about the updates. So that will come through to you and 
detailing the updates on any new clubs that are coming up in the upcoming term, you can then go to My Evolve and start to book them in if you want to. So that's what's on. I'm going to go across to My Activities. Any clubs or trips that your, that your child's booked in on, you can then see in a diary view here. And we can see each of the events. We want to click on them. And then it gives me the details again. So Limelights is a drama club. Full details with the dates. If you didn't like the diary view, you can also simply do it by a list view where it comes down by date. And we can start to see clubs and trips that are going on. Consent forms for any trips you may need to give your consent. At the moment, there are no forms here, but if you are needing to do a consent form, you will be told via email. And of course, any payments you might need to make for trips can be done here. At the moment, we have no outstanding payments. You can also click here to view past payments. So that is our Evolve platform, which we use for booking clubs and trips on. As I mentioned, we also have the mobile app. If you have any issues with logging in, again, please use the email at the beginning, at the end of this video. Thank you very much, everyone. Another great video by Mr. McNaughton for you to go through My Evolve. What I will say is we are not using the payments feature um, at the moment. It is something that we are looking at, um, but we still have payments made through the termly bills and the extras bills that go out to yourselves. Um, clubs, uh, clubs are bookable, as we say, for the system once the link becomes live. The link is live for, for around, around about two weeks for you to book those clubs in. If you want your child to join any clubs after that booking period, again, please email comms at LVS and we will do that for you. And you are unable to cancel a club via the system that we'll have to contact us for and we can do the cancellation for you. As we said, all the details about Evolve and Evolve Sport and a link to the Evolve Sports calendar, which will be sent out in September, but there is a link for this year and this term which we can take a look at. Last but not least, we've done a little slide for you to a link to the parent portal, to the school cloud, and to My Evolve. Should you lose the links, you get a new computer, those things go missing, at least you'll be able to access them and look at any technical queries that you need and come to comms at LVS. That is the end of our presentation here today. Um, I know there was a quick run through of the systems that's available and the things that you can look at. And I know there'll be some questions that some of you have that you think of um, later on. You can email that to comms or email that to myself directly. Um, and always Mr. McNaughton is always available as well. Yep. Um, if anybody sees us running around the school grounds, you can stop us and ask us any questions if you'd like. Thank you for joining us this morning. Um, that was a quick run through of the technical uh, systems that you need to use at LVS. Um, and we're always available for help.